Welcome to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. You are watching the third video in VMware Site Recovery Manager series. In the last two videos, we discussed what SRM is and how you install Site Recovery Manager at both sites. We also completed site pairing between the protected site and recovery site. In this video, we are going to see how to do inventory mapping. What is inventory mapping? A virtual machine in a protected site connected to network switches, data stores. You arrange it maybe in folders, some VMs you may keep in cluster and others not. In Site Recovery Manager, inventory mapping is how you gonna teach SRM where to place your virtual machines and how to connect to network at the recovery sites. Before we create uh, the protection group, we will complete inventory mapping. If so, SRM will apply site-wide mapping to all virtual machines in array-based protection group. In this inventory mapping, we are going to map folders, network, and resources. And finally, we create a placeholder data store also. Let us see how to do this. Log into vCenter at site A and uh, select site recovery home tab. Then from there, go to sites and select vCenter at site A. Here you can see guide to configure site recovery manager. And I just completed pair sites. The other steps I have to complete is shown here. Configure inventory mappings and for that create resource mapping first. Here the available data center A at the main site and data center B at the recovery site is showing there. So expand data center A. You can see I have only one uh, EXSI machine. Uh, this is just for the demo. So I'm just selecting whatever available at the protected site and the recovery site. Once you completed the selection, click add mapping. Then click next. Now automatically create a reverse mapping on a paired site. So this will help you when you want to reprotect uh, the protected virtual machine uh, from recovery site to protected site. Then this is uh, how gonna map it. Click finish. Now you can see create resource mapping has completed. Next part in inventory mapping is the folder mapping. Let's see how to do this. Go to the same place and select create folder mapping. Here you have two options automatically prepare mapping or select prepare mapping manually. In the case of automatic uh, it will uh, look at the similar names and uh, map it automatically. So here I'm going to show you manually just click the data center and expand it and see uh, you can see the folders here you can just map it then click add mapping click next and create the reverse mapping for the folders then click finish now you completed the create folder mappings next part in inventory mapping is network mapping let us see how to do this from the same page uh, click create network mappings then same you have two options here i'm gonna do it uh, with prepare mapping normally expand the data center and select network for primary and uh, recovery site click add mapping click next here it's gonna create a isolated network so when you fail over virtual machines to recovery site just for testing then all the virtual machines will be connected to this isolated uh, network so this will ha help you to uh, have an isolated network from your uh, production and recovery so you can uh, text your patches uh, you can uh, try your upgrades and all click next and select reverse mapping then click finish so here you completed network mappings. Next is placeholder data store. When you add a virtual machine to a protection group, Site Recovery Manager creates a placeholder virtual machine at the recovery site. It plays your VM files like VMX file, 
vmxf file and vmsd file but not your virtual machine disk so you can understand how much size it required site recovery manager uses these files as a placeholder to register a virtual machine with vcenter on the recovery site the presence of placeholder in the recovery site inventory provides a visual indication to srm administrators that the virtual machines are protected the placeholder also indicate to vcenter server administrators that the virtual machines can power on and start consuming local resources when SRM test or run a recovery plan. When you recover a protected virtual machine by testing or running a recovery plan, SRM replaces its placeholder with the recovered virtual machine and power it on according to the settings of recovery plan. After a recovery plan test finishes, Site Recovery Manager restores the placeholder and power off the virtual machine as a part of the cleanup process. When you define a placeholder data store, it must be visible to all of the hosts in the cluster. You cannot select replicated data store as a placeholder data store. Let us see how to configure it. To configure placeholder data store, click configure placeholder data store. Then select your data store for placeholder. Then click OK. Now repeat the same step for a recovery site. For that select a vCenter at a recovery site. Then click configure placeholder data store. And select a data store. So that's all about placeholder data store and inventory mapping.